Jobs truck? Nope. <laughs> This is Jenny Carey from Trendy Tree, and today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to make a hay wreath and put some lights on it. And we're going to fix this wreath where you can either use it to like hang on the wall, or we might turn it upside down and suspend it with some burlap ribbon, uh, like a chandelier. This is a very messy project, so that's why we're outside on the back porch. Um, we picked out some. Um, couple of different ribbons, ribbons to use. I don't know exactly if we'll use them or not, but there's a fern green and some orange, and this is that cheap burlap, two and a half inch. And what kind of lights did you bring? Um, these are the 192 lights. Okay, these are the ones with the timers? Yes. Okay, all right, so we're gonna wrap some of the uh, lights around them. And we also have this new spray. That's cute. Mm-hmm, really cute. The pumpkins. It's wired. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we may use some of that. So we'll just get started and then we'll add these other things in. See how it goes. We also got some corn husk or corn shucks that we might use too. <laughs> okay. We, we made a run to the farmer's market in New Albany today and picked up some pumpkins and things to kind of start decorating the back porch with. But we're going to get started on the wreath. And this is a twig wreath form. It has a coating on it that's kind of mossy brown green it's crusty it'll flake off so you know if you order one you'll see trash it looks like trash in the in your box uh, but this uh, this meth this 
twig really holds well. So we thought this would be good for the hay. So she's just straightening the twist out. And what we're gonna do is just take a, a small clump of hay and just grasp it in the center and attach it to one of the twists. Doesn't matter if you start, well, it might be easier to start on the inside. Okay. And just secure that twist around the hay, just a couple of turns. And then put the end. Lay those ends, lay that end into, into the next twist. So that way each clump will be secured twice. And then, don't close it yet, lay your next twist down on top of that. And now secure it around that. And then, right, each time you're just going to, hold that up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that. Each time you're going to take that end of your clump and lay it into your next twist and lay your next clump of hay down on top of that end and just work all the way around that inner ring and then we'll work all the way around the outer ring and we'll see how that looks. Okay. I'll give it a you think? Yeah. Okay. okay. So we worked. All right. This is the last clump. So we're going to lay that down. And then just reopen that next twist and secure that one in there. And we'll see how that looks. This is kind of trial and error. First time we've done this. But we're having a, a Halloween party in a couple of weeks. So I really wanted to use um, a hay wreath with lights on it. Either use it for a chandelier. Uh, maybe hang it down from one of the trees or maybe even do a two layered right like one like this and then do a, a 24 inch I, I, I think that's gonna be okay all right it's gonna be stick out everywhere and it shake it does it have too much fallout not really I mean some you're gonna have some it's definitely gonna have to be outside right right all right so let's just keep working and we're gonna go around the outside it's back on I went to see Daddy this morning. Um, my daddy's 92, and I was telling him about <laughs> looking for some corn husk, and he wanted to know what I wanted it for. And what I was looking for was like the top part. This is some Indian corn that I picked up at the market, but I wanted this part. And he said, well, what, "What do you want husk for?" And I said, "Well, I want those. I want that to put on the try that on the wreath." And it, he was kind of puzzled, and. Uh, he said, you, you want shucks? I said, yeah, I want shucks. You know, of course, you. we, we had a big discussion about, well, you shuck corn. Right. So the husk is what comes off, <laughs> or, or the shuck is what comes off. Shucking was the process. Shuck is a verb. Right. But it's also, you buy. Shucks? I don't know. I don't know. And They Terry, don't sell that at the Walmart. Terry thought we were talking about the silks. He thought I wanted corn silk. The strings? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we had a 15 minute discussion about corn and then daddy said well, he said just go by somebody's corn crib where they've been shucking corn and pick up some. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and I said daddy, well, I hadn't seen a corn crib and well, I didn't tell him that but I thought to myself I have not seen a corn crib in 50 years. I don't think I've so, ever seen one. Anyway, so we went to the market basket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if you have allergies. Oh, it's smelling. Well, it's hot out here today, too. Now, this makes it, this is really hot working with this. Sweating. Sweating. I guess I could tell you some hayloft stories. No. <laughs> we used to play in the hayloft, but the biggest fun we used to have was jumping out of the hayloft. No. Your kids don't know what a hayloft is. I don't. I've never been in a hayloft. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, last twist. Last twist, okay. I think we'll, uh, you know, you could, it might make it pretty heavy. Indian corn is pretty heavy, but you could, I don't know. Let's go with what we've got right now. I think maybe try, maybe put some of the shucks, shucks on it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just pulling out the extra. Okay. The pieces that are just loose. What do you think? You want to try some of these? These are, oh, what about some of those tassels? <laughs> Corn tassel. <laughs> tassel. Right. No. Oh, here we go. Use your gun. That's the part I wanted. Oh, it's still got a little corn on there. How would that, wire that in? Oh, yeah, I think that would look cute. Hold it. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. All right, put that in the twist. You may have to... Another one. We may run across some barmans. We could. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Chew and twist it. I did. Alright. Anytime you want to add anything to your wreath, you always undo that twist and lay your addition down and then re-secure it again. If you don't untwist it, you'll have things that are kind of floating that out here and they'll be loose. All right, let's do, let's try to find one more corner. One or two more. Oh. They're cute little corns. Maggie's sitting over there laughing at it. <laughs> going to do is use our um, wreath as a chandelier. So we're going to um, use this burlap ribbon to hang it. So we have to secure it like wagon wheel fashion in three places. So instead of just tying knots around the ribbon, we're going to use, we're going to attach each end of the ribbon around the work wreath frame. Just fold it up and attach it with a zip tie. Okay. Okay. I just have a s <laughs> confidence in zip ties. A knot wouldn't hold it, I don't think. All right, now. Snug that down. I lost the scissors and all this. I don't have my wire cutters here today. Well, I do. You do have your... Well, they're not wire cutters. Hey, I'll come back and get your back. Okay. In other words, we just need two more just like that. I'm confused. Well, we're going to hang. Well, we're going to do here or one more. Okay. I okay. Cut too many. That's okay. I just couldn't right. figure out. So that way it'll be attached in four places. My bad. I don't know why I was thinking. I don't three. I just, okay. Well, I was thinking if I had used a piece of rope, I would have attached it in three, three places. Three places. Okay. I just was going to make sure I. And she's wrapping that ribbon around two, two places. Uh, the inner ring and the outer ring, I guess is what I'm saying. And just bring that tail up and then just make sure that your zip tie goes around the metal frame and the ribbon. Okay. <laughs> My corn fell off. Okay, all right, well, we'll just re-secure it. And then, yeah, there we go, we'll put a Zip tie around the middle of that. You want one now? Well, not right now, but we'll put a zip tie around that and then maybe put a bow or something and then we'll have uh, that to hang it by. Okay. Now, what do you think? Those little new sprays? Sprays. Maggie, hand me one of those sprays. <laughs> On this little spray, I think we could 
cut this off and secure it in there and just secure the end with a zip tie. Okay. I'm going to cut about eight inches off. I need a zip tie. Pelican. And I thought you would um, have to on the rig that's tied together with another. We don't have our wire cutters out here, so <laughs> we're going to have to improvise. So okay. we're just going to fold that stem up and then work it in kind of between the rungs of the wreath frame and then we're going to flip it over to the back and secure it to the to the work wreath frame itself with a zip tie okay it's the skinniest zip tie i've ever seen thank you that is a small zip tie. Okay. Okay. And then just kind of fluff that spray out however you want it. You can. I like those little pumpkins. They're cute. It's a little hard to tell when you're so close up. But I think that's cute. Of course, then we'll have it hanging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. About three of these. You use maybe about three of these. What do you want this one? Baggy. Well, I could have could have taken the tags off of them. I don't know. There. Yeah, that's fine. Zip tie. Thank you. On the sprays, we just attach the sprays, put one end through the work wreath frame and attach it with a zip tie. And then where they were sort of long and sticking up, we put another zip tie to put um, to make them lay down a little bit. And if we're gonna, we just put a zip tie around that uh, burlap ribbon, which will be give us a hanger for later. And now we're gonna add in ribbon. some of the uh, orange and the fern jute ribbon and we're just going to cut uh -oh. some loops are we going in every twist uh let's try every other twist and see if that's enough we've just cut the ribbon strips about 26 inches and we're laying the orange on top of the fern green and doing them at the making a loop kind of bow without tails right a bow without tails I cut that orange a little bit short there, but and then just pinch it in the center. Wait a minute, I gotta regroup that. I, I cut my orange a little short. Oops. Well, on the crack. I'm guessing at 26. That's okay. We're just gonna put the okay. I like to hold it. <laughs> hold you it, hold it this way. Okay. Okay. So I like that. You know, you could always add in some little artificial well, gourds, gourds or something for a little more color. But uh, now let's put our lights on. <laughs> These are some new LED lights that we have in stock. This is the 192. 192 and the, are they the bright the clear um warm. They're all clear they're warm mm -hmm. okay uh they come in warm and cool and the uh, strands come in black or what they call white which is more like silver transparent but they have timers and you you turn them on and they'll burn for six hours and then they'll go off for 18 and come back come back on <laughs> That's right. I hate four hours. They'll come back on and burn for six hours again. And they're indoor outdoor, which is really good about uh, these. And the the cords are really very good. They're so, they're just a lot better quality than your average just Christmas lights. But they have a neat little battery pack, uh, and they put batteries in. And this is really usually you know battery lights are just so cheap plastic. This is much better, and uh, it even has a little 
seal to keep moisture out of it. Got some batteries for me, Maggie? All right. Oh, so plus. No. Right there. Okay. A little button. Yay! Okay, and we're gonna just, I'm gonna click through them till they labor all of their own. Okay. Is that it? Nope. No. They're dimming. You want them steady on or? Stick. No. No? Nope. Now then. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Now then, they're yeah, all burning. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll help us see where we need to put them. You know, we might have could have used a shorter yeah. number of lights. This is 192 lights. Oh, I love these lights. <laughs> We're just going to go. And in hindsight, this probably would have gone on easier if we had put the lights on as soon as we got the hay secured. Um, Probably, but this will be all right. But if you were going to do that, that's what I would do. Put the, um, get your hay on, and then put your lights. Okay, we got, hold it up, we got our, um, yep, this way? Yeah, I, I, we used really two large light strands, because we're out here at the house, so we don't have any smaller ones to put on it. So what we did, we just took the excess and kind of uh, kind of laid them in the center because I think once we hang it up chandelier style, it will just give some light. You won't really able be able to see that. And we're going to take the rest of our bow, rest of our ribbon, and just made a loop bow. I'm going to put a zip tie around that. <laughs> lose a digit. Uh, and then we'll refluff those ribbons. And of course you're gonna have some <laughs> you're gonna have some loose strings on this one. Some hay. And we're gonna hang it up and in a minute and see how it looks. But that's our wreath. And I, I, I like it and I think it's gonna be cute at night. It I think will it's be gonna cute be cute at night. on the back porch. And um you could always add in, you know, any kind of fall little pumpkins or anything to give it some color. And yeah. Hey Pop. I need you for a minute. I'm not tall enough. Well, that's our wreath, <laughs> our chandelier, and we'll take some pictures of our Halloween party and post those when we get our porch cleaned up and we get decorated. And thanks for dropping by. Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Happy fall, y'all. Bye now. Bye. <laughs>